Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso right here on SABC3. I was just so enthralled by the fact that so many people got our question right this morning. Of course, we are asking the question, do you know what our tune Moji answer was? If you were a music lover or are a music lover, then I'm sure you'll know the answer. So basically, it is a band that's a trio of musicians with one lady that is the front person. And uh, there was a magnifying glass, there was a lady with her hand up, and then there was trees as well. Everybody, like I said, got it right. Very, very proud of you. Uh, Tukutswa says, Find Me in the Forest by Good Luck. I like this song so much. It's my summer anthem for this year. Linda Kutle says, Totally confused, even with the clues. Thank you for being honest, Linda. Uh, Krista says, Just loving the show. Melissa says, Find Me in the Forest by Good Luck. So I must say, it is an amazing tune. They are an amazing band and they are going to heat up the summer. So happy that everybody got it right. It is time for for us to go over to the Hello Project. Hello, Yuen. Hello, Leanne. You know what? It's so simple, and I love this. is the great thing about this project because it really touches people where they really do understand, especially if you speak to them in their own language. Now, our beloved and wise Tata Madiba once said that if you talk to a man in a language that he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that if you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. And this is exactly the philosophy behind the Hello Project run by the Coloured Cube, which seeks to really unify the Kensington, Jeppistown, and Melbourne community schools, uh, initiatives, and also a melting pot of cultures by just starting to say hello to each other. So joining us on the line this morning, we have the Managing Director of the Coloured Cube, Maria Paola Maguk, to explain the idea and also the aims behind this campaign. Good morning, Maria Paola. How are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Lovely on this Wednesday morning. Thank you for joining us. I think this is a great project. It is really so simple, but so impactful as well. But first off, I think, what are some of the, the problems experienced in your community and why have you taken this approach to really just encourage people to start saying hello? Well, for about a year and a half, we've been trying to activate our community um, and getting city parks and, and city of Joburg on board to fix our local park. And we've we realized we've got a small group that comes to meetings all the time, but there's about 20 people engaged and involved. And we started realizing that in this community and in lots of communities in South Africa, there's so many cultures, there's so many religions, languages, that how can you expect people to start engaging when you don't even know anything about them? So as you said, it's an incredibly simple project. The idea is just to start saying hello and acknowledging the people that are in front of you. Mm. Uh, you know what, I think what you guys are also doing, which is so great, I mean, living in South Africa, we are that kind of nation where we're able to just talk to each other and be able to say hello, but to do it in, you know, in another person's language, I think is even more impactful. So what has been the response to this initiative? Oh, wow. Well, I, I actually, I'm completely blown away by this initiative. It's only been going for about three weeks. And the response, both on social media and on the streets, is so interesting. Uh, it, it seems that people are looking for simple projects to plug into that aren't demanding, that aren't high pressure. All we're suggesting is go out on your streets and start saying hello to your community, to your people. On the streets, this has only been going for about two weeks. Yeah. We already have over 50 languages. Wow. We've had about 15 organizations signing up saying, we want to get involved. How do we get involved? So it seems that simplify what you're doing and people feel like they can take ownership of, of, of these initiatives. I love it. I think you hit the nail on the head right there because it's simple and people think that they can be part of it. It's not intimidating at all. And also just by saying hello, I mean, you start a conversation, right? Yes, that's exactly it. And it, we, we just down the road, um, there was a attempted hijacking and the community group decided to try to deal with it by saying, go inside, lock your doors, don't speak to people on the streets. Mm. And we're giving an alternative. Yeah. Rather go outside, know your neighbors, know the people walking past your, ha your house yeah. and start speaking to them in a way that they feel welcome and engaged. Exactly. Now, I mean, you, you mentioned this project about two weeks old right now, and there are really big plans to use that as a tool for social cohesion. So what's in the pipeline going forward? Okay, number one, this, the intention of this project is not to get big, big grand and make it a completely solid project. The idea is to plug into what exists within our community. So one idea that has come up is we want to have language lines and we're going to put up pieces of string through the community on the streets, in the park, just with pieces of paper with the languages that we found in this community. The second one is to start having things in the park, inviting the schools, inviting people to come and just hang out in the park and let's get to know each other. So it's to keep it simple. Uh, we, the, the, 
often these projects, people don't take, don't come on board because they're tired, they feel they're under pressure. Mm. And just to say, let's let's get together peacefully and relaxed. Mm. There's, there's no pressure with this. So as we move forward, we'll see how it unravels because the people within this community need to determine the outcomes of the project. Absolutely. And I mean, just on a final point, we're talking about conversation. We know that conversation um, between two people absolutely important. But if you, if, you, if you bring it across a nation, I mean, what do you think conversation between people in a country can do for our beautiful place? Oh, gee, that's, that's the secret to it. If you start speaking to people and with a little bit of humility and acknowledgement that they are not from here or that they ha they are different from you, suddenly the converse conversations start opening up. We've started a hashtag um, just because of their interest on social media. Mm -hmm. It's hashtag just hello. And we are challenging your viewers. Go out on your streets to your community and start saying hello to each other. Take a photo of other people's languages and hashtag just hello. And let's start that. talking to each other, simply saying hello. Maria Perla, thank you so much. And, and all the best with the project going forward. I think it is fantastic. It is so simple. It is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Perfect. And that's, just, that's the roundup on the Hello Project. Like I said, so simple, but really starting a conversation in our beautiful country. And it really doesn't matter how you say hello. It means the same thing at the end of the day. And you can follow the progress of the Hello Project on Facebook. You can just visit the Coloured Cube page. Everything will be there. You can find all the details if you want to get part of it. Hashtag hello. Right now it's time for the news.